believe we are live. So I'll say indeed and greetings unto you, beloved and holy friend. Today's stream topic is about self-expression. Specifically about how if you don't self-express, the expression that is yourself never will be again. Right? To again make it a little bit even more clear. This this person that you are, this depth that you have in your heart, this capacity that you have to make a difference in this world, the art that you can make, music that you can sing, etc. etc. If you don't, it won't be. Right? It's like maybe you have a, a love for flowers, but you never cast the seed into the ground right so if those seeds aren't planted the flowers that they could be never will be and in the same way every single one of us have that same kind of depth a divinity that capacity to make something of ourselves to make something in this world and then for me at least i imagine that the greatest shame the greatest sin right uh, me missing the mark of what life is supposed to be about if I don't express myself. I woke up really early this morning at like first like in the a.m. hours my body was fighting me a little bit. We had some oxtail last night and my body has grown used to not getting fats and proteins. <laughs> So it was, it was definitely a challenge. Then I woke up again at five, I harvested some plants. That was bittersweet as it always is. And I've kind of been in a state of limbo ever since. Kind of this, this state of considering, right? The best course of action. You spend all of this time working and uh, growing a plant and then you can mess it all up in the final steps, you know, if you don't take the proper steps uh, in trying to dry and cure the flowers that you have now harvested. And even though I've gone through this process so many times, it still causes me anxiety. It is April. It's April Fool's apparently. Bless you, friend. Uh, uh oh, sad plant talk. No, 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 not sad. Uh, just reality, right? Kind of reality, sand like plant talk. Mm. I'm so sorry to hear that, dude. My plants were thriving up until the second they weren't. All right, <laughs> fortunately, the terpenes on these plants, Dr. I would literally, you know do anything right now to be able to transfer smells over the internet. I wish I could uh, have the vocabulary as well. I wish I had sensors. I wish I had like a little little thingy thingy that I can just put a little nug in and have that little nug analyzed for all of its terpenes and see in which concentrations it finds itself and how maybe through some sort of, you know, machine learning that is going to be expressed in a plant. I see Nancy here with us as well. Love again, Joy V. Love to you, Jovan. Sam, bless you. Oxtail, some good eating. It was nice. It was very nice eating it. I just think my body uh, needs some time adjusting again to high fat meals. I feel like a T-Rex with grabbing tools. Unstoppable. Greenhouse in Discord General is magical. I've seen it. I have upvoted and everything, bro. I was like, nice. Looks good, dude. Have you started putting plants in it yet? That's the question. I think if we're lucky, like supremely lucky, we'll find out our purpose here. And if what we have found in the fossil record is any indication, our species is quite lucky indeed. Oh, yeah. Now, that is true. That is true. The expression of humanity on this planet is an unlikely one, 
right? I, th- I don't know if that is what Sam is saying, but that's the way I'm interpreting it at the very least. The the fact that you are here is a miracle, you know, in and of itself, just this version of you. The fact that our species has continued, you know, all of our ancestor species survived. Like, apparently, I don't know if your friends saw the new Gerxesoth video, but the dinosaurs might have been killed by volcanoes. And the asteroid was just kind of like a, a scapegoat, <laughs> right? That's the word. Uh-oh, love is true. Did you see this greenhouse uh, raining video in Discord? It's nice. I did. It was a little sound. Spitter pattering. No plans yet. Going to be too cold until Friday. Plus, I need to add 88 cinder blocks at 36 pounds a piece to build my 12 plant benches. Is cinder blocks the best uh, thing you can use? Maybe it's, it's cheap. Maybe you have the cinder blocks. But uh, 36 pounds. Why are they so heavy? Are cinder blocks that heavy? That's like, what, 15 to 18 kilogram a cinder block. Which means that, like, four to five of those cinder blocks weighs as much as me. How big are your cinder blocks? What are you making your cinder blocks out of? I see Pojo here as well. Bless you, dude. Thank you for joining us. What Sam is saying is that there were so many times we could have accidentally or on purpose deaded ourselves, but didn't. And find and I find that pretty incredible. Yeah, thank you, Sam, for saying what Sam is saying. I appreciate that. I think it's incredible as well. Right? Like I'm thinking about just like our recent our recent history, like the plagues, starvation, and getting crusaded and going through multiple wars, developing nukes, right? Like you're right. You are right, Sam. It is kind of incredible that we're here at all. And despite all of the chaos of the world, despite the rumorations of 8 billion minds collectively trying to create some sort of direction, there is still a sense of stability, a serenity to this life. Imperfect, uh, wabi-sabi, right? But, but beautiful still looks at you how about this imperfect but beautiful still person i'm seeing mm, joy the first warmer than 50 night when it rains i'm spending my night in there sleeping like a baby that would be kind of nice actually pull out a stretcher cinder blocks is the cheapest there we go it is one dollar uh 79 cents a piece made of concrete that makes sense Maybe they are that heavy. Maybe when I move them, I just didn't register that they're like almost 20 kilograms of pop. I know this is going to sound massively geographically ignorant, but I just found out that Yellowstone is a volcano. I don't know what I thought it was before. Yeah, apparently Yellowstone uh, could be like a dangerous volcano even on top of that. I have some apple, grape, pear, orange, pineapple, guava tropical juice mm, tastes like capitalism <laughs> tastes kind of nice you know capitalism wouldn't have stayed around for as long as it had if it didn't taste nice it is the bitter aftertaste that we're having a hard time swallowing right now Mmm, Nanshi, Yellowstone is a super volcano that would take out the entire West Coast and even Chicago if it went off, y'all. Yeah. That's where the dangerous part is. Fortunately, we would know long in advance if that's going to happen. How they fit all of that fruits in one can. Uh, I think it's like a fractions thing. It's probably a fractions thing. You know, fractions. Okay. Hey, Luke is here. Bless you, bro. I haven't seen you in a while. Nice having you. No duck, of course. Maybe you're just that strong mouth. You didn't know cinder blocks weighed so much. Yeah, that's totally. That's totally what was happening. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. So strong. Part of me wants to move back because I don't like the lighting. And I don't have lights anymore. But I'll take a moment to melt. 
There we go. That already helped. All messages. Thank you for the reminder. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ah, I see more, more than I missed. I know, I just learned it right now when you typed it, man. How about that? Joy Vive also found out. Fun fact, a Republican guy told me that when I told him about the Super Fugano, he said that's liberal junk science. Or, sir, uh, there is no such thing as liberal science. Uh, science is science. You know, whether a liberal tells you the science or a republican tells you the science, it doth not matter. <laughs> if Big Volcano go boom boom, you die die. No matter who you vote for, my dude. <laughs> that better? Is my lighting better right now? No, no, it's worse. It's actually worse. I don't know how that happened. You know, I can... I can make it better, quick, fast. I'll just change the attack angle. Mm. Right, it's better. It's better. This is better. Now, if you're apparently a post, you're supposed to film the shadow of your face. So, so film the tro tro trovix. Yes. <clears throat> nice guy, Sam. Just unfortunately dumb as a post. Is nothing with electrical and mechanical. Did I miss some things? Probably. Let me get back. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, if you listen to Rubs, it's bye bye USA, Alaska, Hawaii, and maybe other island hol holdings might take it. But the mainland would be toast. Yeah. Still a few many years away, apparently, or something. Hmm. Via Grande. Luke lives in a collapsed mega volcano. Apparently, Hawaii is like a volcano landmass as well. And they call Hawaii New Land or New Earth or something like that. Because uh, historically speaking, it's some of the newest, you know, surface that human beings can walk on. And I find that pretty neat as well. Since we're on the whole volcano fractal. I have some strawberry fields in here. Some of the last of it. It really does work with the juice. Feeling the tightness. One more heat. There we go. Suddenly. A new state of being approaches. What is my intention? What is my intention for this state of being? My intention is to be present. To express myself fully. Adequately. Beautifully. To express myself in a way where if I had to die the next second. Good, didn't die. If I had to die this next second, I would be okay with me having died. I'd be able to look at my dead life and be like, hmm, good, good. I lived well. I lived well. What would I have to do to say I lived well? 
I would have to be kind to those I spend my time with. I would have to be considerate of those around me. I would have to try and make this place better instead of worse. I would have to be grateful for every moment I have. <sighs> yeah, it's kicking in now. I want to show you what I'm looking at because it really is so beautiful to me. Like, of course, the camera isn't going to do it quite justice, but the way the sun is catching those little yellow flowers feels like such a beautiful expression to say it in so many words. Thank you, little flowers, for growing beautifully as yourselves. Let me get back to comments. <clears throat> Liberal junk science. Doc, was that Jim Shorts who said it? Joy, I feel strong. Lifting the cinder blocks for the first 10, then less strong. I'm hiring the teenager across the street to help me move them. Yeah, do that, bro. You know, offering them 10 bucks or something. They'll be stuck. I don't know if teenagers would carry cinder blocks for 10 bucks anymore. 10 bucks is like 200 rand. Bro, I'll dance dancing like carrying thunder blocks. <laughs> Words, I'll dance carrying cinder blocks as a teenager for ten bucks. I will still, still, if I was a teenager now, I would still dance. Mm, you've been prettier. The lighting today is not your face, friend. No, no, the previous lighting was was definitely you know messing with me too. I think this is better, a little bit. It's not ideal. I could do better still, but then I have to move, and that would make me a good filmmaker. <laughs> See how I call myself out? Now I'm like, bro, don't say it like that, dude. Don't say it. Don't say it like that, dude. Now I, now I want to move. I want to be a good filmmaker. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought so, dude. <laughs> Joy, love again. Mm, checks out, Doc. Nice guy, Sam. Just unfortunately dumb. Dude, uh, you've been pretty love again. I live. I think I've heard of one already as well. He really was a kind man. Just propaganda nice to the gills. Yeah. How do you unpropaganda nice someone? I think if we had the answer, the CIA would be knocking on our doors right now. Yo. So much brain damage. <laughs> decades. Decades upon decades of finding yourself in echo chambers. And I'm not, I'm not saying all of these things like I'm above it, right? I'm painfully aware that I'm echo chambering myself as well. I'm just trying to echo chamber the the upliftment of our species, the the pursuit of knowledge, of conscious evolution, not uh, volcanoes. You know, <laughs> Yellowstone is is an ancient volcano. Is I want to read that again. Liberal junk science. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> reading that, reading those words, just kind of like cracks me up. Like that's even a thing. All right. Mm, wow, Luke. That thing is 14 miles wide. That is pretty cool. It is impressive. When you see the whole thing, it takes up a big portion of the state. I've been to the top of Halakala Shield Volcano in Maui. It's crazy. So high and quiet. You can hear your own heartbeat via your f blood moving. Are you serious? What the hell? Why? There's no wind. Why is it so quiet up there? Is it dead? Does nothing want to get close to it? My mind is reeling with so many questions. Is it creepy silence or is it serene silence? 
Katie is here. Bless you too, friend. Mm -mm -mm. I was there too, Doug. It's beautiful. Nice synchronicity shared. New Mexico is on my list of places to check out when I'm older. Hatch, chili, festival, to be specific. I mean, you can grow a bunch of chilies, make a bunch of chili sauces, and then drive out, bro. Make it a trip. Make it a whole thing. Mm. It took me a while to recognize the sound of blood flowing and not be paranoid or weirded out by it. You have those experiences as well? Are the volcanoes like absorbing sound? Are they like, is, it, is there some sort of like porous structure and this happening to them? Am I trying to overanalyze? I want to understand though. The fact that you friends just casually hear your own blood flowing and you have to not be paranoid about it. I, I've, I haven't had that experience myself. I've heard that in those extremely like sound absorbing rooms, things get so quiet where you start hearing your own blood flow. And I want to go into one of them. I've been in like a flow tank, sensory deprivation tank. So having sound deprivated sounds like a fun time to me as well i think my tinnitus will just be excruciatingly loud probably uh, and i don't know if i didn't appreciate that though mm. nancy my wife and i didn't even think it would be cold up there she was wearing shorts and a tube top it was like 30 fahrenheit <laughs> yeah that's pretty cold i don't know what the, i'm i'm sure 30 Fahrenheit, yeah, 30 of a, of a degrees. That's totally cold. Thinks about all of my experience with 30 degrees Celsius temperature and all of them, I'm suffering, right? <laughs> so much suffering. Uh, Lois, I'm wearing my polish color and I'm kind of stunned by how well I like it. It's so dark and vampy and I've wanted this color for a while now. Thank you again. It's stunning. I'm guessing a suggestion. Bless. Thank you for honoring our friend. I think that's pretty common for people who visited. I'm waiting for something that'll be here in a few weeks for Melt. If you'll want to send something in this birthday box, DM me for my address. I'll send this message a couple of more times. Thank you, Joy B. Seriously. Thank you so much. Love is true. I appreciate you. I'll read your message a couple more times if you send it again as well. Nancy, yeah, but I lived at 30,000 feet above sea level for a while. My dumbass should have had the thought. Yeah, I was also like, like I have never, I mean, I'm never is relatively speaking. Uh, I've, I've spent like 0 0.000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 percent of my life, maybe. Uh, on mountains and every time they were cold because there's like apparently like an elevation thing that happens all right hello peppy hello Pepsi. i mean you live and you learn at least next time when you go back you'll take a jacket i'm paying them 20 bucks an hour it's only fair to pay them a good wage 20 bucks an hour that is a good wage <laughs> that is in fact a good wage it's so beautiful. I love my volcano. I tried to get away for a while, but notice how happy I was to get home. Luke, that's literally all that's important. I'm so happy that you found a space that synchronizes with your energy, man. Like, I'm so curious. I really want to see what this place looks like as well. The Vea Grande Caldera. Hey, Google. Vea Dande Caldera. That's totally what it was, right? <laughs> no, bro. This thing butchered it. Even more than I butchered it by trying to say it. The... That's not Vale. Vale Grande Caldera. I'm just going to copy it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Please, can you do the thing? Thank you. Oh, bro. The comments move as soon as I try to copy. There we go. I got it.
Give me information. Let me see. I want the photographs of this place. Apparently it's minus three degrees Celsius there right now. But yeah, New Mexico, how about that? Like these are obviously some some rough photos, but still. Look at this place. I'm guessing that is the volcano. Very cool. That's your entrance? You drive past that board? That's pretty cool, dude. That's... Make it, it makes me think a little bit of South Africa as well, weirdly enough. That's kind of the same energy. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. I'll pay you 30 since you have to take a full light. From now on, I picture Luke having a killer inside volcano. <laughs> That'd be awesome. How do you un, un propaganda nice someone? Mel, I'll DM you some stuff. President Eisenhower was on that shit at the close of the Second World War. How about that? How about that? This information is available. Thank you, Sam. There are people who do that for a living. They deprogram people like ex cult members. Yeah, um, you know, but again, again, I feel like we have we have gone too far. I want to be able to depropagandize someone by saying a few words in conversation to them, you know, haphazardly in a shopping mall. Uh, line waiting my turn to pay for my clothing got a vibe all right that's the information i want i want ex that specific what what specific words do i have to say to that that stranger in the mall and in that clothing store what do i have to say to him to de propagandize that guy quickly <laughs> like super quickly and I'm saying that kind of haphazardly, right? I could I could make any example, but the point is to be able to just like have a conversation with someone, maybe like just shaking, melting their bedrock, having some sort of volcano explode in their minds, and maybe that lava cuts new channels in their brain. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It still works. Still works. Checks out. Yeah, you you still understood my words, so I'll take it. There, uh, totally creepy, silent, and cold air, and nothing to make a sound. No wind. Mm. That does seem eerie. Mm -hmm. I live on the volcano ash flow. At the perimeter, the national lab built upon some epic native ruins is a cave a hundred yards from my house. Fine, Luke. I, I am jealous. Fine. Here, you win. <laughs> oh, dude, that has chili festival. I'm told you can smell the chilies roasting 10 miles away as you pull up. So much capsaicin in the air. Like, my nose literally singed for a second. Like, I'm smelling capsaicin. The movie Wild Hogs is about old dogs motorbiking around. I have seen Wild Hogs. I have seen Wild Hogs three times. I have not seen many movies three times. But Wild Hogs is kind of funny. I don't know why. Why was it so funny to me? Uh, people out of their element. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what was funny. I was on paranoid drugs where sounds were exaggerated. Yeah, they roast chilies everywhere. So most of this day smells roasty for a couple of months. 
uh, live green chili live i love green chili so much maybe that's the the right poem so i'm so glad you like the nail color of glass uh they filmed wild hogs up there nice uh first coat is ruby second coat is blood i feel like i got two sage in one bottle oh like as you double up you basically get like different shades that is pretty cool it's sunny out today and going to be 20 degrees celsius thank you mama gaia that does sound nice there he is there you are Sam. thank you for joining <laughs> sending you lessons uh taking break to make some coffee bless you i hope it's a good one is that what you think when you hear new mexico the chilies the chili fractal sam i forgot to tell you about a really cool piece of history we found yesterday my mom has my grandma's social security card it was on an etched gold metal like you could cut a fool with it <laughs> try and take my social security number you'll get some stitches instead <laughs> we love this channel and we love you too simon thank you bro Simon found us. Wow. So at one point they were made to last forever. Now we have these thin ass paper ones designed to self destruct. Ooh, it's a poll tax. Right. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me at all. Oh, you swam with your social security card for 2.2 seconds. Yes, you no longer have a social security card. And you have to either. Uh, live without one which i don't know if you're allowed to do or you have to go and sludge through this system that is made to dehumanize you turn you into a number turn you into a number that waits for its number to be read so that it can be numbered <laughs> don't you try and society me society i won't be society I will break rules. You want to hear yesterday's poem? As I said, I want to break rules. I'm like, yeah, yesterday's poem is still glitching in my mind. Mm -hmm. Luke is laughing, saying, not trying to make jealous, just sharing how much I love my home. I know, bro. I'm not, I'm not saying you were making me jealous. And I wasn't, in fact, jealous. I was just saying from the joke of your place is so great that if I was to be jealous, I would have been jealous. And you and if we were in a competition of who has cooler place, I would have lost. Right. Just for the joke. But, but not really. <laughs> not, not really for really. Mm, Easter meal. We're having some butter chicken today. My sister is making butter chicken. She's making her own rotis. I think it's going to be nice. The logic is you need your SSID to get a photo ID, which is what Republicans are arguing you should need in order to vote in our elections. Yeah, and the Republicans are probably also from that same logic, uh, arguing that you need one of those to own a weapon and purchase one. Right? Right, Republicans? Right. If you are concerned with uh, who is voting, and you want them to have proper identification in order to vote, then I think we should probably have the same level of concern for who has the ability to murder another human being. Right? Surely? <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you, please. I painted two paintings yesterday. They are drying. Bless. Brought a few How long is it? Is it clock? My sister is asking how long I'm streaming for. I'm getting pieces of roti. I'm in. I guess I'll finish that. I'm not going to eat. Okay. I'm going to eat. 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 I
Love you. Eating on stream. I don't like it. But I like my sister, so... I don't want to offend her by not eating the food she's bringing me. Mm, yeah. Yeah, alright. Hard-boiled eggs is the one holiday I don't celebrate. As an adult, Simon, it was a big deal when I was a kid, though. Easter bunny, Easter basket, Easter clothes... Easter service, Easter dinner, so much Eastering when I was a kid. Yeah. Here too. They go to church twice. They go to church on Friday and on Sunday. And as a kid, uh, believe you me, uh, the, the notion that two of the days I had of my long weekend, I had to now sit in church and be told the same story. All right. Like I, I rarely rewatch the same movie because this is a certain experience I gain from the novelty of uh, learning a story or whatever, right? And there's value for me to see in it. But then I, I lose some of the novelty, some of the interest once I'm like, okay, I'm familiar with the story, right? There's no intrigue. There's no... Uh, you know, where is this going? I know where this is going, right? So I cannot be in that neurological state of, I don't know where this is going. And then having this story, like, told to me literally, right, hundreds of times, getting propagandized, but refusing to. Look at, look at the kitties. Refusing for the propaganda nice to set in. I was like, nay. Yeah, meow meow. Yeah, meow ma. I shall meow my kids. Oh, yeah. What you saying? What you saying? You're talking about your babies? So I got so many babies. I got so many babies. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. They're so cute. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, they're wonderful. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They really are so cute. Oh, so cute. Such cute little kitties. Such cute baby babies. Look at me. I'm petting them. I'm giving them pets. I'm getting them pets right now. Peppy petties. Petting pettins and kittens. <laughs> Just somewhere in South Africa, entities have been spawned. Right, the expression of of kitty curtains, so beautifully themselves. If not for them being here as they are, there would not be this cuteness in the world. And if we can honor the cuteness of little kitties, why not honor the cuteness of ourselves? They're cute as well, you know. The fact that you can find cuteness in these animals, I think is pretty cute. This one is the feisty one. It's not the feisty thing right now, though. <laughs> yeah, this is the content now. Yeah. Nancy, mm -hmm. feeling that weather happy. All my windows are open, tree frogs are chirping, and burpees are tweeting. The air has a healthy humidity to it, and it's so nice to breathe. Mm. That does sound blissful. Just having the freedom to be our paid actors, inducing maximum cuteness into your neurons. There is little birds 
flying next to me. You just saw all of those ice point things out in your eyes. Walking a circle around her little brother. Is a little brother? Come here, you silly kitties. Come here, you silly kitties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough distractions. The gray, what is it? Total instigator. It's presence. So much presence. Okay. Nothing else in the world. To be so lucky. Oh, Jovan. Blessing us with membership lovings. I believe Grin Reaper realized that Jovan had gifted her a membership. And oh, there you go. She got another membership, of course. Bless you, Grin. If you're seeing this right now, you were loved. Grin the Reaper. You are loved. Enjoy the even Sam and Doug and Joe. Got some as well. Lovings for the qual kitty content. Mm. Highest quality qual kitty you can expect. I guess I felt like looking at these little kitties was like a lower dimensional fractal of like watching little lions right out in the world experiencing. What's How's the roti? Very nice. Very nice indeed. I had butter chicken one time. My tummy did not like. Shame as my mouth loved it. Here's open. It snowed last night here, but a little melt by noon, I'm sure. Probably with the heat actually coming back. There we go. Disconnect for a second there, but we're back again. Cat cam rules. The black and white one looks like mini princess. Spidey claws before she grew. Humongous. That kid. That little gray one. <laughs> Uber cute. Look at this one quickly. Small little kitty. Being so cute and dapper. Such beautiful lines on this dude. Blue eyes as well. Ah, kitty. I think they called him Cinnamon. Little Cinnamon cat. What you doing there? Just peacefully sitting in the world. I believe they're big enough to find new homes right now. My mom wants me to take this one. But... I don't know if I will. I do not think it is advisable for me to take on responsibility right now. Maybe at some other point, but if I'm going to take in a creature into my life and home, I 
want to be able to be you know, as much for it as I possibly can. <laughs> it's irritating its own face of a piece of grass. Now it's eating it. <laughs> oh, cinnamon. Oh, it's oh, it's cinnamon. So cute. It's crazy how fast they grow. It really is. Right? Like, I, I left when they were just born. Like, they were born, I think, two days. Two days before I officially left. So they were still, like, you know, like, soft little closed-eyed babies. And the fact that they are now beings, climbing trees, fighting each other, playing. So much presence in their beingness. Like, personality as well. Each of them are different. Each of them are different. And if you pay enough attention, you'll quickly notice them. All of them are cats. But something something is expressed through that catedness, nonetheless. And it cannot be expressed if they don't express it as themselves. Mm -mm -mm. The beige one. How beautiful is that cat? It's crazy how fast they grow. Love again. How many is your family gonna keep? I don't know. All of them right now, Jovi, because they don't have new homes. So, something needs to be done. There's apparently already plans to have the mommy kitties fixed talking about I should show you the other babies as well because this is going to be the last day I'm here I will be going home again tonight We're leaving at 2 a.m. in the morning my brother has work tomorrow morning at 7 hello wonderfuls love again to you Zana you've been here right Oh, you're, this is just an old comment, I was about to say. Cinnamon Roll is my favorite Sanrio character. I don't think I know that one. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Mommy Kiara. Are you mommy? Miss Case? No, I find it. It's a magical noise. I'm completely lost right now. So much kitty fractal.
Mommy giving baby a licking. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, mama. I'm talking about you. <laughs> Aggressive licking commences. Let's leave the babies be. I will literally just sit here with them indefinitely if I don't force myself to leave. Alright, Mama Kia is beautiful. So much lovings. Maybe that's what Papa looks like. Looks like Carlos. The, the Papa was like kind of grayish actually. Who were those little guys playing on the patio? Those were the other babies. Uh, Shelby had babies first, and then Roxy had babies soon after her. <coughs> Bonus blab from mom there. Two patches of kittens on the farm right now, Lois. Yeah, 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 this is true. That were born just before you left. No, 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 no. Those, those big ones. Those big ones are. No. There we go. Visual contact has been made. Suckling is meowing at them. Oh goodness, the kitten. I have mommy. I have a mommy and kitten too. There's <laughs> so much love. All right. Um, gotta get them fixed or shall we have new kittens every year? Yeah, I told my family that as well, right? Because it's like, if if they don't get fixed, then the next time I, I come here, we won't have nine cats. We'll have, you know, like 40 or something. And then the next time we won't have 40, we'll have, you know, like a hundred and something. So I was like, yeah, please, let's... Uh, Come on, vent big year, poor hang on, um, second the mark of the crane of Bobby Kisner. I'm not going to say what Joy, you're right. The cats will put, will put number the human, will outnumber the humans in no time. I'm going to pull a card. Please do it. Thank you, Zana. Thank you so much. <sighs> Let's appreciate the mountains in the background a little bit. Cats. Equals cats. This is true. Cats plus cats equals more cats. You think 29? Let's see. Is anyone good at math? If each cat has four kittens once a year. They have four kittens like once every four months or something. Like minimum. So, like, it, yeah, the exponential curve goes quick. Some of them will start leaving, and some of them will die probably as well in that environment, but, yeah, it will, it will get messy quickly. Like, you will, you will spend an absurd amount of money just buying food. Three liters a year? It's possible, yeah. It is possible. Mm, they could put out a humane trap for the daddy... To trap him and get him fixed, that's also actually a good idea. Just the female ones, I mean. We go three letters, that's weird. Always want to. <laughs> snippy, snippy. Alright. Uh, maybe you pulled a card. Maybe you pulled the, the bunny eggs card or something. Let me see if I can go to general. Nope, not seeing any cards yet. Flower the bunny, helping us find eggs.
Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so each female cat has 12 kittens every year, and half of the kittens are female. Like, I mean, if we want to do this, we can just, like, use AI. That was Anna. <clears throat> like, we can do it like this. All right, that way it will be easier, because then you can just ask the questions you want to ask. I don't know if my internet is fast enough to access these things right now, though. Poor network connection. Trying to connect. There we go. Something went wrong. No, something went right. Tell me something is going right right now. <clears throat> my voice is not working. <laughs> we have three cats two of them are female both of them just had a litter with three babies each one of them had two female babies one of them had only one female baby how many cats will we have if our cats don't get fixed by the end of the year Thank you for posting. Dear Zano. Let's do a little math to figure out how many cats you might end up with by the end of the year. Initially, you have three adult cats. Each of them, two females, had three kittens. So that's six kittens total. Now you have nine. The number of cats you'll have by the end of the year can vary on a few different factors, including the age of which the kittens become capable of reproducing, the frequency of their reproductive cycles, and whether they have access to male cats. Cats can have multiple litters per year, and without spraying, the population can quickly grow with an average of two litters per year with three litters three uh, cats per litter and half of those kittens are female you could potentially have 24 cats by the end of the year if it continued down that path how many cats by the end of next year I can read this out for you, but it's not very interesting. I'm just waiting for the math to be done for me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 108 cats by the end of next year. So it went from 24 by the end of this year to 108 by the end of next year, if it continues. Indefinitely. If I if I come back here next year and there's and there's a hundred and something cats here, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'll just instantly lose my mind. Um, by the end of the year, you'd have eighty four if you started with one cat. Yeah. Um, we're assuming only two litters per year apparently with the math we just did instead of three. Each female cat. I have a big kidneys of email. <laughs> Love is true. Well said, bro. I'm crap at maths. Yeah, I don't think human beings were made to math, technically. We were made to experience this present moment and to be grateful, therefore. You know, math is just something that we... We use in order to express something, right? But I don't know if we can express ourselves in math, necessarily. Ah, we did pull the rabbit! Nice. You pulled, you sent us something else as well. In the 18th, in the 19th century woodcut, German artist Johannes Gehertz depicted the coming of the fertility goddess Ostara, whose annual returns heralds the starting of spring and the renewal of life on earth. Hmm. Germanic legends and gods of heroes. I see this little rabbit in the picture with her. Maybe there is some association, but the rabbit. Yo. This is what the card looks like. Are you forgetting that computers used to be? Yeah, I mean, again, and there's a reason we don't use people. 
anymore, Joyviv, because people are not good computers. Computers are good computers, right? That's the point I'm making. So why would I, why would I try and take the computer's job, right? Let the computer compute, and I can verbalize. I can feel things. I can experience what the information, the math, you know, is trying to express, makes me feel. Which, like, the, the computer can compute that stuff, but 84 cats doesn't mean anything to the computer. Oh, 84 cats. Number, and then cats. But if you have to feed 84 cats, and you have to imagine 84 cats in your environment, now suddenly it matters, right? And that's, that's where the human aspect, you know, becomes valuable. At least in my mind. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. My wife is better at math than feelings. I had an Ostara celebration last weekend at the Unitarian Church. We did a runic egg smashing contest. Nice. That's super cool. Capybara Cafe that I haven't talked here. Yeah, nice. Do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams, bro. The rabbit. Afraid of everything. Overwhelmed and frozen. The rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly in fact that one day the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared, most often about the future, and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are Lost. Notice your thoughts and words, O oh, rabbit. They shape your destiny. It's hardcore, yo. Damn. When in balance, we find ourselves sensitive, capable of problem solving, and as a good listener. When we are out of balance, we over explain. Or we talk too fast. To bring it into a balance, take a day of silence. How about that? Love is true. We're gonna see some runic eggs. You can have pet capybara in some states, but not my state, unfortunately. They be afraid of the bara. Oh, yes, of course. The terrifying baras. I'm scared about the future. Simon? Don't be. Right. Being scared of the future is like being scared of the sunrise. <laughs> oh no, the sun is rising. Oh no. Oh no, not sun rising. The sun rises, bro. The future cometh. So it be. All you have to be is here and now. Breathing. That's all you need to figure out. You got this. Look at these cool runic eggs. Look at them. There's my, my favorite, obviously. But all of them are so cool. That's the whole alphabet. God damn, a whole alphabet of rune symbols i believe that one is like uh humanity this one is like uh, mystery or magic this one is like masculine fer fertility that one is like self uh, i need to get better at remembering i believe that one is like ride or journey Very cool. Are those real eggs? You did say smashing ceremony. You smashed those? I guess there is some sort of bittersweetness in that. Lois, this photo looks like a punk album cover. It could be. It could be a punk album cover. Good photo, good colors, cool shadows. Cool textures on the eggs, cool writing. I approve. I approve on so many levels. Alright. Now it's just 
a matter of saying goodbye. And then we'll see each other again real soon. Let me see something here quickly. Ah, there it is. Right on cue. Our beloved Jovan has sent us a goodbye message. Yes, the eggs get smashed. But then you make a ton of egg salad sandwiches. Perfect. I was happy that there is at least not waste. I was wondering about that, but I don't want to say anything. The winning egg has the second one in the top row. Urez died with dragon fruit. That is so cool. We have our goodbye message all typed out. It goes, have the most beautiful day, everyone. You're for surely, certainly, positively, absolutely, for really, super duper, real zers and truth zers. So completely treasure, melt more. And all of you, oh so super spectacularly, unabashedly, vivaciously, undeniably, tenaciously, Evanescently, blissfully, blissfully, authentically wholesome human animal critter creatures embracing their means of expression. Right here, right here are your means of expression. You can use these hands to slay your enemies, or you can use these hands to plant flowers. You can use these hands to make delicious meals that feed your family you can use these hands to hit a go life button yeah i agree cow that was pretty cringe dude you're right cringe boop <laughs> simon you don't need to be scared you have us yeah bro we're showing up with this future thing together man all right like the more i keep showing up every day for love the more future we get so seems like this balance so i'm craving chicken right now maybe oh maybe it calleth for you keep the masculine fertility away from me <laughs> enjoy your butter chicken thank you and the shells are going in people's gardens nice to to help with the snails i believe right but also like eventually decompose and add nutrients love is true thank you friends so much for joining me today my under my hands are making play-doh and then flowers that sounds nice thank you friends for joining me i love you so much i'll see you again soon tomorrow until then you'll probably see me again home goodbye everybody love you cheers for now i'm having a hard time hitting my buttons there we go